the value of trash TV, the value of trash TV, Rosemary Gervin. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and judges. If there's one thing I have learned from being a Toastmaster, it's that you can find educational value in just about anything, including trash TV. What is trash TV, exactly? It's a guilty pleasure. It's any kind of programming that doesn't require your full attention or concentration. The polar opposite of trash TV are shows like Charlie Rose, Meet the Press, Face the Nation, most of all, Money Matters with Susie Orman. Those kinds of shows not only require your full attention and concentration, but you have to respond and reflect on everything that is being said. Next, let's look at why you might want or even need to watch trash TV. Have you ever been down with the flu? Maybe you've thrown your back out? Or maybe sometimes you just get a little bit depressed. Of course, we all have. These are the times when you don't want to stress yourself, and some really quality trash TV is in order. <laughs> An added bonus to watching Trash TV is there are pearls of wisdom to be had. From Trash TV, I'll start with my favorite, Dr. Phil. <laughs> when you watch Dr. Phil, you mostly learn what not to do. He usually has some dysfunctional family members on his show trying to figure out how to fix their lives and are doing a pretty bad job of it. But Dr. Phil has some real words of wisdom. For example, no matter how flat the pancake is, it always has two sides. Or, for every rat you see, there are 50 that you don't see. <laughs> Think of this, how many times have you taken someone's side in a dispute, only to find out you didn't have all the information that you needed? Or has someone ever really wronged you? Chances are they've done it multiple times before and will do it multiple times again. On the TLC channel, there's a show called, say, Yes to the Dress. This show features soon-to-be brides who are looking for their wedding gown in a very upscale salon. They try on dress after dress after dress, trying to find just the right one. And they usually bring friends and family members along to help them make this selection. Now, I know what you must be thinking at this point. Why would anybody watch such a silly program? <laughs> if you or a family member are in the market for a wedding dress, be prepared for the astronomical cost of these gowns. You can spend thousands of dollars on a dress that is to be worn one time. Better to go online and buy one of these dresses where people resell them because, as I said, they've been worn one time and you don't have to involve your friends and family members who are probably <laughs> bored with this whole ordeal anyway. Finally, there's a great show on the cable channel called Naked and Afraid. <laughs> this show features a man and a woman who previously do not know each other and they are placed out in some jungle or wilderness for 21 days, naked and afraid. <laughs> they are given only a few survival tools to try and find their own food, water. They have to make a shelter with what they've got, 
Usually they bring along an ax and some sort of a lighter. And for 21 days, they have to make do and rely on each other to survive the elements. There is a wealth of knowledge here. <laughs> a wealth of knowledge. You never know when you might be stranded out in the wilderness. Would you know how to get food or what kind of food to get? Would you know how to build a shelter? This show would help you do that and raise your PSI, which stands for Personal Survival Index. <laughs> And at the same time, it is wildly entertaining. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next time you are not feeling quite yourself, or maybe you're under the weather, don't watch Charlie Rose face the nation or meet the press. Change that channel and say yes to the dress. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster.